Alright, yesterday we didn't do much in terms of content, so today I'm gonna give it all to you. We're gonna speed run Okinawa. Currently, we're in the capital of Okinawa, but there's not that much to do here, aside from the main road where all tourists go to. But we could discover some culinary delights. From what I've seen, there's like four main things that they're known for. Brown sugar, coconut, sweet potato, and alcohol. First up, sweet potato egg whites. Hey, that's pretty good. 8.7 and 7 out of 10. Oh my god, missed that coma had to add. 9.3 out of 10. But the first stop is the American Villa. <laughs> Just kidding. The American Village. There's multiple different things to do here because the village itself is a huge outdoor mall. But there's also the Pokegenic, which is like a Pokemon uh, themed uh, district. Or I guess different sorts of Pokemon themed stuff like this uh, Fire Hydrant, which is clearly the newest uh, Gen 20 Pokemon. Fire Hydranto. Evolves into firefighter I I don't know. Alright, the arrow means that it shows where the photogenic spot is. Like this one, for example. And those are hidden all around the district. And of course, we have a metric shit ton of cool man covers. Oh my god. It's not even bloody America. It's British, isn't it? Ah, uh, well. The most American thing ever. Cultural approach. Slight update. Turns out this is a, not a bo Pokemon district per se. It's more like a photo spot, like Pokegenic, photogenic. And in this case, we have a, a Ditto who has turned themselves into a park bench. I think breaking news. We have footsteps. Look at these tiny little grippers on the ground. Oh my God. Oh. Oh. oh my god, it is the Ditto bench. We got another Pokegenic. There's a Ditto on the ground. Wow, literally GTA Vice City. Oh, GTA 6, miss. Wow. <laughs> This could be a goddamn Banksy. Next stop, Cat Alley or Cat District or whatever cats, I don't know. So this is the area where the cat should be, but currently they're just a bit camera shy. But we do have a goat here. Nah. Really putting the vests to the test here. Man, this is slopping wet. This is slobbering wet. This is like I threw up on the ground and look, oh. You gotta hear this shit. Brown sugar meji. Meji? To be honest, I didn't think um, it would be such um, a lot different because it's adding sugar to chocolate, but you can really taste the sugar cane here. And it's also very buttery. Weirdly, a bit too much even. Oh, for fuck. 8.6 out of 10. Another thing that Okinawa is famous for are the pineapples, because out of the entirety of Japan, Okinawa and Kagoshima are the only prefectures that grow pineapples. Here, you can ride the pineapple train. Woo. So that's how pineapples are made. Oh, by the way, do you know where the name pineapple comes from? Well, actually, it's just a combination of pine and apple. Yeah. You know, as in pine trees and apple pies. What? Wow, it's me, Garfield the lasagna. Another thing Okinawa is known for. It has the, one of the largest butterflies in Japan. I idea Lusone. Japan. Oh, sorry. Largest butterflies in Japan. For 1,000 yen, you can take a flight set and try out different pineapple wines. Because the distillery is holy shit, it is huge. And so fancy. My god, what the hell? Pineapple wine, blended wine, summer snow. 
This is the Okinawa classic chocolate. Oh my god. Oh, that is sorry, Yeah. James Hoffman made a video a couple days ago where he tried the world's most expensive coffee. It was $245 a cup. Update $335. Apparently it didn't taste the greatest, because it's not really technically worth it. It's more about the scarcity rather than the quality. But the kicker is it comes from Okinawa. The island that we're on right now. So we are actually at that farm currently where they make the coffee and I'm gonna see if I can get the coffee a bit cheaper than for you know $335. Suck it James, this is $12 here. The owner's cat, Goro-chan. With our coffee, we got the coffee, but even actually more coffee. We also got the tea, the coffee tea, and the, that's the coffee bean, our coffee bean paste. Oh, coffee shell. For only $12, you can get all of this. And you don't have to travel to the UK and pay $300. Mmm, tastes like pure money. That is actually pretty interesting. The main thing for me here, is the fact that I'm not really a coffee person. So it's hard for me to really say if it is good or not. Like I can taste the different tones in it and it's quite enjoyable. It goes down fairly easy compared to like other coffees that you can make at home. But to me, this just tastes like a great cup of coffee. The babysitter really appreciates it. Tea is really mellow, goes down nicely. I really like it. We've been surprised with another gift. Coffee cherry soda with no sugar. So it's from the red skin of the coffee. For free? For free? For free? Oishi, hi. So since I'm not really a coffee head myself, I wouldn't really justify paying 2000 yen for a coffee, which is what I would say. But coming here has kind of changed my mind on that because we didn't really just have coffee, which I thought we would. We had an experience. We had tea, we had cake, we had... They brought us coffee soda, which... Uh, they gave us a lot of stuff, which I don't know if you normally even get. Like, we got to taste fresh coffee beans. And uh, honestly, 2,000 yen for such an experience, just sitting down, looking on the coffee fields is uh, really nice. Definitely recommend visiting if you ever happen to be in Okinawa. Do not buy it from a UK cafe for $300. Also, uh, side note, one thing that I forgot to mention, you can pay extra money to go there. During specific times of the year, I think from December to March, when the coffee bean uh, harvesting is happening, you can have a tour for 9,000 yen, which includes, you know, roasting everything, pretty much everything. But during rest of the year, you can also take other tours. But we didn't get it because we didn't know we were even going to go there up until like the night before when Foxy was like, yo, check out this... British coffee guy, he paid insane amount of money for coffee and I was like, bet I'm not gonna do that, I'm not gonna pay that much money Sweet potato That was really good uh, nine, 9 out of 10, highly recommend And to top it all off, we have Ufu Yanbaru Daibi mm. ah. <laughs> Next, and possibly the last place of today, is the Kori Island at the north of Okinawa, which has islandy stuff. I didn't know this because I don't do my research, but this is where the heart-shaped rock is, though the locals refer to it as the whale's tail. And by locals, I mean me. I'm, I'm, the, I'm located here. I'm, by definition, a local. 